Uh, what you have would work in the snow. Yes. And the Corvette would not, probably. So. Yeah, the Corvette yeah. would definitely not make it up at Mountain Meadows for today. Check this out. We've been watching skiers and snowboarders up along the mountain. It's even hard to see the ski uh, tram that goes up and down the ski lift there. Temperatures are chilly, so we're seeing a lot of snow sticking around. Currently, we're seeing snow up and down the coast, and we're also seeing several inches of new snow expected. The last 24 hours, we saw four inches of new snow up at Timberline, Meadow, six inches for at Ski Bowl, and over 12 inches at Bachelor. Now, looking at our Doppler radar for today, we've been seeing a lot of rain up and down the West Coast, snow into those higher elevations. As we look a little bit closer, it looks like we're seeing some light sprinkles here out along the coast as well as in the valley. More snow up into the mountains to start this afternoon. A few scattered showers right through the metro area down towards Lake Oswego. Out towards Hillsborough area, we saw a little bit of rain and snow mixed in there earlier. No accumulation was reported. But you might have seen a few flakes, and we continue to see rain over the northwest part of Portland and up 26. Now, here's a look at our rain totals over a tenth of an inch in Portland, over almost a quarter in Vancouver, about a third of an inch in Astoria, as well as in Newport. So, rain totals not as heavy as yesterday, but we still have more uh, chances of some rain totals building later this afternoon. Currently in the low 40s for Tiger Lake Oswego Westland, right around 40 degrees, a little bit cooler this afternoon compared to yesterday. Mid 40s for Portland, Milwaukee, 43. Degrees for Gresham and 40 degrees in Washougal. Temperatures in the upper 20s out towards Government Camp, low 40s for Mattress as well as for Bend and 46 down towards Albany and Corvallis. Now, here's a look at our rain and snow forecast for the rest of today. More snow into the mountains as we continue through this afternoon and evening. We could even see a few pop up thunderstorms, especially out along the coast. Cold air aloft, which some spinning. We could see some instability and possibly a funnel cloud out along the coast. But currently through this afternoon, we do see a few scattered showers here and there more snow overnight and into tomorrow morning. We could see the snow levels drop again down into the foothills. Nothing uh, of accumulation expected, but definitely a wet start to the day. We do have a winter weather advisory in effect through 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. So if you're heading over the passes, either that government camp or down towards Santiam Pass around 6 to 12 inches, watch for slick spots as well as low visibility. Wind wise, it is a bit breezy coming from the south. 10 to 15 miles per hour in Salem and Portland sustained winds a little bit stronger winds if you're up at the mountain for today. 22 mile per hour winds currently in Redmond. Your forecast for this afternoon temperatures topping out in the upper 40s. Windy out along the coast. We were seeing a few sun breaks though, so we might see that through this afternoon. Again, a few pop up thunderstorms. Snow chances towards Ben, Burns in the upper 30s, 40s for Pendleton. Forecast for the next several days. Pretty mild uh, conditions as we head closer to the weekend. Today is more seasonal average. Cooler showers for Friday and wet through Saturday. Maybe some dry time Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. But no sideways rain here. I saw that from Newport. Yeah, yeah. it's stronger out along the coast. Breezy today, but not sideways rain appropriate. Okay, because yeah. that always frightens me. Yeah, no, I, I'm rain. looking out for you. Yeah. All right, thank Ken's you, hair. I know. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with a look at the story.